In local breaking news, we have learned that John McAllen is awake. We repeat, John McAllen is awake. This locally well-known volleyball player and inventor is proving to us he's all aces when a group of students he was chaperoning on a trip to Italy and Greece found themselves at the mercy of Delta Airlines at JFK Airport. This Point Pleasant teacher and nocturnally challenged twin was able to put his narcolepsy to bed so that he might console the children, tucking them in on airport grounds and placing his hand on the shoulders of others rather than pretending to place it on the leaning tower. We caught up with an eyewitness who observed the survivor applicant in action. Uh, yeah, like I, I, I was coming back on the airport myself and uh, I was heading from California and uh, I found myself at JFK and yeah, I, I go into this area and there's, there's all these bodies just uh, strewn all over the place. Uh, guys laying down and uh, girls all curled up and, and in the distance I see I see this guy and, and, and he's awake and he's consoling the kids and uh, it touched me, it did, you know. It's, I, uh, he reminded me of the, uh, the professor from uh, Gilligan's Island. Yeah, and... Uh, I saw this young lady there too, and uh, even though she was sleeping, I mean, I, I want to talk to her. And uh, later on, I, I saw her, and uh, I go up and, you know, and uh, I started to have a conversation, but she sort of looks at me like, uh, like this. And, and she must have had her friends or, uh, I don't know, bodyguards there too, because when I tried to uh, approach her again, uh, they looked at me like, and I, uh, I felt bad, you know. I, I know it is sometimes. I, I, I've gotten caught at the airport too. It's tough. It's tough. Uh, yeah, but that professor, man, that, that was pretty sick. Pretty sick or pretty slick? Should any of these high schoolers find themselves pursuing Greek life at college, we doubt any of them will be pledging for Delta, Delta, Delta. So, on behalf of all of us here at your local news, thank you, John McAllen. Or should I say, John McSleeps No More?